we arrived in Fredericton, New Brunswick last night. And uh, we're gonna ride around a little bit, show you some, I mean, there's some beautiful, beautiful historic homes here. There's a walking trail that goes down by the river. It used to be a part of an old railroad track and a lot of neat buildings to see. Can't wait to show it all to you. Thank you, Lauren and Matt of Fredericton, New Brunswick, for sponsoring this episode of Gene and Renee Travel Adventures. We stayed in their Airbnb for two nights and look forward to giving you a tour midway this episode. We'll also put a link to their Airbnb in the description and comments section. But first, can we take just a few minutes and take a look at some of the trip from Montreal to Fredericton? Won't take but just a few seconds. I want to give you some highlights and show you a few of the things that we encountered. We saw plenty of these signs. Moose crossings. Holy cow! In this part of the video, we're driving along between Quebec and New Brunswick. It's hard to keep the windshield clean for filming. And so I'd get out, clean the windshield. We'd drive 10 miles and bugs would have messed up the windshield again, usually right where the camera sits. One time we stopped on the side of the road. I opened my door and instantly bombarded by a swarm or herd or flock or whatever of ladybugs. I kid you not. Didn't get to clean the windshield. Before I could get back into the car, we had at least a dozen of them in the car. Interesting trivia for you. A ladybug can hold on to the side window at speeds in excess of 112 kilometers per hour or about 70 miles per hour. It held on, the one that you're looking at right there, that dot, for over 100 miles. We freed it at the New Brunswick border. Been traveling a long time part of this day. I think about eight hours to get from Montreal to New Brunswick. We're headed to Fredericton in New Brunswick, so got a little bit longer to go, but hey, at least uh, it took a long time, but at least we're getting out of Quebec and we're headed into New Brunswick. And I'm going to show you the sign on the other side where it shows that you're entering into Quebec. Not a lot of traffic out here this afternoon. Hey, look, there, there's a car. We're on the lookout for moose. Lauren and Matt's Airbnb is just the cutest place we've stayed in. It has the look and feel of what one might describe as a charming cottage. Originally, it was a carriage house. Later, it was repurposed as a home for Matt's grandmother and called The Shed. Lauren designs and builds tiny houses. Matt is a skilled woodworker. They repurposed the home once again and gave it new life. From every picture hung, the books displayed, the placement of dishes and kitchen supplies down to the pillows and blankets, Lauren gave careful attention to detail. We especially appreciated the fast internet.
Fredericton, New Brunswick, for sponsoring this episode of Jean and Renee Travel Adventures. Christ Church Cathedral, begun in 1845, is one of the best and earliest examples of the Gothic Revival in Canada. Its stone walls, crossing tower, and picturesque massing echoing the internal parts of the church were typical of this style. The design conforms to the aims of the Ecclesiological Society, an Anglican reform movement which sought a return to the medieval church both in worship and in building. Modeled after a 14th century church in Norfolk, the plans were drawn by the English architect Frank Wills at the request of John Medley, Bishop of Fredericton, and a member of the society. From where we are, we can embark upon one of the most magnificent and diverse journeys in the world. Whether heading east, west, north, or south, the Trans-Canada Trail offers the natural beauty, rich history, and enduring spirit of the land and people of Canada. Given Canada's vastness, varied terrain, and sparse population, the goal of developing a national trail was a bold, almost impossible undertaking. It began as a dream in 1992, the idea of creating a trail that would be a gift from Canadians to Canadians. Since then, Trans-Canada Trail, a registered charity, has been working with donors, partners, governments, and volunteers to create an epic trail of trails, offering a wide range of outdoor experiences. With hundreds of sections, the Trans-Canada Trail runs through urban, rural, and wilderness areas, including all provincial and territorial capitals and many of the country's provincial, territorial, and national parks. The Trans-Canada Trail provides Canadians and visitors with free, accessible recreational infrastructure that promotes healthy living, active transportation, and an appreciation for Canada's natural heritage. Each trail section also serves to shine a spotlight on that region's unique history, geographical charms, and cultural heritage, making it an important asset for local tourism. The Fredericton Trails is part of the Trans-Canada Trail Network. With the removal of the CN railway lines from Fredericton City area and New Brunswick in the late 1980s, a few special forward-looking people formed the Fredericton Trails Coalition in May of 1990 and advocated to convert the rail lines into recreational trails in order to promote an active and environmentally friendly transportation network, maintain a sustainable urban environment, and to enhance the health and quality of life for those who live in and visit their city. This was followed with the addition of the first trail, the Gibson Trail, in 1993. Their vision at the time also extended to the province of New Brunswick, with the incorporation not only of the Fredericton Trails Coalition, but also the New Brunswick Trails Council on December 22, 1993. The larger vision of a Trans-Canada Trail was born with the donation of 377 kilometers of abandoned rail line, including the CN Railway Bridge, also known as the Bill Thorpe Walking Bridge that we're on, to the province of New Brunswick by the Irving family in October 1996. The first section of the Northside Trail, Trans-Canada Trail, was completed in Fredericton. In 1997, the Billthorpe Walking Bridge opened, allowing the trail to follow south along the Lincoln Trail and down the St. John River. This completed the route through the city of Fredericton.
Thank you, Lauren and Matt, owners of The Shed in Fredericton, New Brunswick, for sponsoring this episode of Jean and Renee Travel Adventures. Make sure you check the link there to their Airbnb. It's in the comment section and also in the description. Thank you so much for watching, for sharing, for liking, and for subscribing, and for joining us on the journey.